Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will look at your monthly uh, reading. So this video is for September uh, 2022. So we got two piles here. We got pile number one, which is the Pagan Outer World Tarot. And the uh, number two is Cosmic Tarot. I will do the some salt reading for you and uh, I'll look at your, you know, like, I don't know, general reading. I'll go as how I feel like it. So yeah, you can pause the video and I'll start with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. So there is some work going on in my house. So if you can hear it, I'm sorry, <laughs> can't do much about it. Um, so yeah, I'll first start, so for your monthly prediction, look at the general, like, um, I guess, vibe for your September 2022, so I'll start with the salt, so pal number one, pal number one, September, spirit pal number one, September, okay, so just give me a moment. Um, okay, so for your September, uh, I see a lot of growth and progress. I don't know if it's like, I guess it will be you, but I wonder if it is about your life in general where I like, because I see a flower here, it's in, it makes me like, um, oh my god, my English is becoming so bad, but anyway, um, it's like the flower is blossoming uh, in my mind, and maybe it's you, maybe it's your life in general that will progress, I don't know if you've been going through some like dark time or sadness, uh, recently maybe in August or something like this but just know that in September I see progress and things finally uh, blossoming I don't know what's the other word grow uh, like seeds that you have been planting or planted long time ago and maybe it will start growing or showing uh, for you another thing uh, I see a hedgehog uh, so to me a hedgehog I don't know the spiritual meaning of it but it reminds me of someone who kind of has the, their guard down, guard uh, up, sorry, not down, guard up because of all the things, maybe the surrounding, because, you know, hedgehogs are the, have their spikes. And it's like you're kind of going through life with uh, like a defense um, or like some type of outer... Uh, exterior like a uh, shell and there's something to do with this maybe this is your current situation or how you will go in the beginning of September but because I kind of said like guard down maybe you'll like actually finally let your guard down in September uh, finally being able to um, take out this uh, hard exterior uh, that you have. Um, another thing. Uh, let me see. Okay, I also see um, a turtle. So again, kind of like the hedgehogs, like, I mean, I don't know if hedgehogs are fast, but to me they sound slow. <laughs> they look slow. So I'll go with that. Um, with the turtle and the hedgehog, maybe you'll kind of start slowly uh, at, in the beginning of September, or maybe this is kind of your theme of September. It doesn't mean that your progression is slow. I actually feel like because of the flower that I see here, that things are growing. It's just that you may... Uh, again, with this card up, maybe trying to go step by step, trying to find your balance again, trying to start walking again, something like this. Uh, I kind of visual visualize this like 
trying to walk and stumbling a little bit, but not quite. Um, it's like trying to get this progress, uh, no, not the progress, trying to go back on track. Um, let's see. What else can I see? I see the, what's the name? Like, it's like the face of that donkey in uh, um, Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if you like that. <laughs> this uh, cartoon character. Um, but maybe that's a sign, <laughs> like a sign for some. Uh, what else? I also see a snake. Again, there's this whole theme about transformation, also with the flower blossoming, uh, shedding that old skin to finally uh, start uh, something new. I also see three people, um, three different character uh, here that like kind of work together. Uh, either three or two, but I mostly see three. Uh, so depends for some. So it could just mean that you'll be with three people, I don't know, like hang out with friends, or it could also mean that you'll start something with three people, uh, or like two people, like three in total, including you, or just two, uh, or like there's some type of form of gathering with like other people, like socializing, uh, that I don't know, there's something about this in September. Mm -mm -mm. Do I see anything else? Yeah, that's kind of what I see with the salt, so I'll put it over there. Okay, guys. Let me just put this on the side. And I'll take your tarot cards. So I hope until now it kind of resonates with you. So let's see. So pile number one, September prediction. I'll first look at general, uh, like the general message that I see, uh, prediction that I see. I don't know if I'll be like, I'll go specific, like, uh, you know, love and stuff like this. I'll do most. I think I'll go with just general and see what I see. Okay, so let's see for the first week of September. Or oh, first week, I'll say like beginning of September what's happening for the beginning of september for pile number one spirits also don't forget to like share and subscribe subscribe oh my god i was about to cough <coughs> you can comment like a, a blue i don't know a blue heart emoji for pile number one so Okay, perfect. Okay, so we got the nine of wands in reverse, the full in reverse, and the um, six of wands. A lot of wands here. I mean, we have two. So let me just, give me just a moment. Okay, so first beginning of the month, um, I see you trying again, there's this whole thing with the nine of wands in reverse, trying to kind of let your guard down, trying to get uh, back on track, but like not um, because the fool is in reverse, so I don't see it like you being quite naive or like, um, um, how do you say that? Like... Um, like, uh, oh my god, 
immature way like not in a desperate way i feel like since we have the full in reverse to me it's like you knowing what step to take understanding how to do it knowing that it will take some time so i see a lot of good actually uh, for movement forward or at least in the right direction or where you want to go with the six of wands in reverse um don't push yourself too hard or don't expect um things to come as um fast as you kind of expect it uh, kind of because with the six of wands in reverse i do see a little bit of deception when it comes to what you imagine um like uh, happening or like manifesting it's not that it's not going to manifest it's just that like if maybe if you look at it in the future um like <laughs> it doesn't um not it uh, it's not that it doesn't make sense it's more like uh, it's not now you know <laughs> like you'll understand uh if you take a step back that yeah it's normal if nothing truly like astonishing is happening it's normal uh that's what i hear like beginning of the month is normal um you are going to the right direction so don't doubt that and don't feel like you don't get enough praises it's just like it's normal okay uh especially if it's about like starting um something new like uh maybe a project and you kind of put it out out there like online and it's like oh my god why why it doesn't grow as fast as i expected it's normal like it's honestly i i feel like it's normal um so yeah even if you put a lot of work or something like this i think if you look back on it uh, in the future uh, then you'll understand okay so now i'll look at in the middle of the months so let's see, pile number one, middle, in the middle, what's going on? Also, I do offer private, private readings, uh, just check the description down below. And you can follow me on my Instagram as well. So, middle of the month of September, just give me a moment. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Seven. okay so middle of the month what i see uh i see something about the project and if it's not a project then it's your um growth uh, so I see again there's this whole stay, um, story about you like trying to go back on track uh, maybe expecting a little bit too much of yourself or outside uh, to give you like uh, like some extreme extreme result when you actually are just starting uh, okay so just um, and anyway so uh, and then in the middle of the week, it's like you see many choices. I see sometimes uh, with this, uh, we got the half moon here. Uh, there is some type of decision that you'll make. Uh, because I see, okay, I'll try to give an example because I don't know how to put it. Let's say that you're working on this project. You put it out there and you're like, oh my God, it doesn't grow as big as you thought it's normal and then in the middle of the month you're like okay i actually can do this 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 or this or you have a ton of like um inspiration or things that you want to do direction that you could do with your i don't know like projects or you're like oh my god i have so many things to do and you kind of do it on your uh, by your own or like by yourself like um trying to do a like b and c and it's like I see a lot of inspiration um, uh, in the middle of the month and a lot of drive for it, a drive uh, from you towards your goal. Um, I see you being very passionate and wanting to change your thing with this uh, Knight of Wands. But with underneath the deck, we do have the Two of Wands uh, in reverse, the Hanged Man in the verse with the Moon and uh, the Five of Wands. And it's like you kind of need to plan better 
uh, which step, uh, which step to take first. Um, it is worth it. So it's not like your project is failing or like you are worthless or something like this. It has nothing to do with that. It's just that it, it's just you needing to focus, uh, your mind onto uh, what step you should take, uh, what's the next step, what's the most like logical uh, step to take after like putting your brand out there. Um, with the Ten of Wands, it may be overwhelming in the middle of the month, um, but it is, um, since it is upright to me, uh, it's not bad, it's just like, like, uh, how can you say that? Um, it's actually worth it, even if you feel kind of down. I feel like it's a good way for you to kind of have a little bit of introspection on your project. Again, I'm going with that word. Could be f with anything again. Could be just you as a person. Maybe this is talking about all the things that you want to do as a creative person. Maybe trying to like pursue other talent and stuff. And it's like you kind of will go through this phase of intense, intense energy. And then you need to actually introspect on which one is the most um, important or what's the priority right now for your uh, circumstances, for your circumstance. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of the week, don't let your ego uh, get the best of you. Actually be open to uh, question yourself uh, and like don't be afraid to kind of let other projects or maybe other talents on the side it doesn't mean that you um, cancel them or like that you don't that like you're a failure it's just like you know life <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with doing it later or maybe in the future and stuff like this um, because things will like you know follow through the way it's supposed to. Uh, with the moon here, it is um, saying to you that you, although you need to plan what's your next step here, because I do see a lot of drive, but not a lot of planning. But with the moon here, it's like, although you can plan things, uh, you may not see the full picture. We have the moon, so it's secret. Um, it could be hidden like... Um, particularly from like the spirit trying to hide it from you in particular um, or it could just mean that you don't see the full picture and therefore that's why you need to plan but I can also see this um, uh, another scenario where it's actually uh, actually like you may plan every step and it's important but be open to change in the future uh, don't be too strict on yourself uh, and on how it's supposed to go. Um, yeah, e um, you most likely need to first with the Ace of Cups here. I know the, the camera is in focus, but it's not. My camera can't, can't autofocus, so <laughs> I need to do it manually. Um, so, yeah. But like with the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Cups uh, underneath, here uh, underneath the deck um what's most important for you if it uh it's like to focus on your emotions um although i talked about like you know needing to be practical like plan and stuff which is very much needed uh, in the middle of september i also see um this message of spirit trying to uh, it's kind of hard to say these things like uh, to like um you kind of need to balance what's your priorities, but at the same time, don't choose the direction where all your feelings are emo and emotions are completely put on the side. Uh, to me, even though I talked about like logical, like planning and maybe what's the priority, um, your priorities should also imply you and not just the physical, like, uh, I don't know, like maybe you want some type of career and I don't know, <laughs> this is going to be so long, but uh, let's say you want to um, find a career 
but you're not sure what to get because you have so many options you're like i want to be creative i want to be an artist but you're like uh, oh um it doesn't um bring as much money and stability so maybe i'll be a doctor right and um you have the option of being a doctor uh and it's like don't i wouldn't say okay <laughs> okay this is my mind going to be conflicting um because i'm an artist myself it's like choose the most logical uh path but at the same time that doesn't mean that you have to completely delete your passion okay and vice versa your passion doesn't have to be your job and your job doesn't have your be, be um um what did I want to say? And your job doesn't have to imply anything about your passion and stuff like this. But that doesn't mean that you can't pursue your passions. Uh, you can still try to find some type of way to uh, imply like a little bit of what you're passionate or ho your hobbies to your job. Uh, if I take the example of the doctor, then maybe there are different branches and one branches needs more creativity. I don't know, like plastic surgery and stuff like this. And, you know, there is some type of artistry uh, when it comes to like being a surgeon and doing plastic surgery on people. So maybe this is some type of example that I can give you um, on what I'm talking about. If it's not clear for you, I'm sorry, I tried my best um, to explain what I my what I felt uh, maybe I went a little bit too far but anyway moving on from that let's look at the end of the month so let's look at the end of the month uh, let's see power one end of the month prediction what's going on for the end of september for my pal number one okay okay actually two came out Oh. oh my god this is so good okay 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 end of the month pal number one i love how this one is inverted now Okay, so, okay, end of the month is basically, like, I see that the middle of the month, you're, like, trying to find out, uh, needing to be a little bit more logical and stuff like this, and then you'll kind of end the month with, like, your plan, because we have here the two of wands, which was in the, in reverse when I was doing the um, middle of the month here, um, so the fact that it is coming out upright to me it means that you kind of have the gist maybe you made the decision uh, for your future but we have here the five of pentacles so i don't um i'll say okay i have different scenarios uh, the first message that i see is beware of your where your money goes uh, maybe look at subscriptions uh, things that you don't need stuff like this kind of look uh, where you can save your money and if you're somebody who spends a lot uh, or like uh, what's the word um, impulse buys like impulsively like shops or things like this just try to be a little bit more um, frugal uh, when it comes to your finances because I feel like you'll actually need that money uh, and these finances in the future we do have uh, the full moon here so uh, if i go again with that project uh, scenario then maybe you will actually need this um, money that you'll save uh, for like i don't know putting your project out there uh, maybe finance some type of 
marketing things uh, publishing and stuff like this because we do have the full moon here so i don't know if this is there is i mean there is a full moon every month but like um i don't know if it will be during a full moon but to me it's the full moon wish fulfillment um so therefore i feel like you uh will actually need to um plan again we have this planning here so maybe you'll be planning on saving your money at the end of september uh there is some type of message about this another thing that i see um which is uh i guess a little bit contradicting uh, i mean because in the middle of the month you had the knight of wands up white which meant to me that you'll have a lot of thrive to and a lot of drive to go forward but the fact that it's in reverse uh, could be just you trying to restrain yourself back again as i said with the plan but i kind of mm, could see some type of tendencies of like putting yourself down because it won't be as exciting as maybe some another path or another way that you thought of doing it but again i see it just being normal um i don't know if you watched uh because like, i just watched um rosology and her video about like starseed messages um and uh in one of the pile she she said uh don't confuse um what's the word don't confuse oh my god uh, she gave this example of like when for example when you were uh raising it sort of like up and down like kind of like extreme um environment could be chaotic or kind of like going this way and going that way and being kind of impulsive and then suddenly when things are calm you feel like um you feel like you're failing or you feel like nothing is coming out of it or things like this and she said like don't confuse uh i i wonder if it was boredom or like no uh, yeah yeah oh okay don't confuse um boredom with stagnation i think that was the sentence and i kind of see this type of vibe for you uh, maybe that message will actually resonate with you um it's like don't confuse you feeling quote-unquote bored uh, with stagnation don't feel like it's a failure or you're failing or that you are on the wrong path um so i do see this type of vibe happening at the end of september where you'll kind of be like what's going on here and it's just like it's normal again i hear it it's normal uh, not everything has to be like up and down and crazy and stuff like this sometimes things has to calm down it doesn't mean that it's failure it just means that it's a little bit slow but that the slow it's like it's slow for you but for others it's, it may just be normal uh, so yeah i hope you get what i'm trying to say so that's a side message for your end of the month to not confuse uh, these things um so now i'll pull out some oracle i'll get the spirit animal Oracle. So let's see. Pile number one. Also, if you can comment down below, it does help a lot uh, with my channel and also just me. <laughs> because I do see these views and then I, I'm like, are people watching or is this like fake views? But anyway. Um, so, pile number one. That's too many cards. So, pound number one. So, we got giraffe spirit. See the big picture. Again, I, I, I talked about not seeing the big picture. I think I said that. Yeah, I think. Okay, so that correlates with it. Oh, 
we have too many cards. These cards are quite like um, they s are stuck together. But again, that means I didn't use them as much as well. Then we got Vulture Spirit. Nothing is wasted. Uh, to me, this is reminding you of the um, whole speech that I said about, you know, you're not failing or anything. Again, with the nothing is wasted. Also could be correlating with you having a choice and maybe letting uh, some type of projects or career on the side. Uh, again, nothing is wasted. That doesn't mean it's a failure. So we got here. Sand Piper Spirit. Be playful. Yeah, just... Like, with the be playful, it's just a reminder that sometimes you just need, you know, to kind of go along with it. You know, as people say, like, go with the flow. Uh, well, that's kind of what I see for um, your monthly uh, reading. I just need one card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Oh, okay, so this one flew out. We got opportunity. So yeah, this is, oh my God, hold on. Ah, this is better. Okay, so opportunity. Um, we have the moon here. And again, there is, uh, oh yeah, that's why I talk about like, see the big picture because of the moon car underneath the deck. Again, with the uh, moon here again, this is coming back to that. With opportunity, it's like you don't see um the future i mean as much as i can do readings and stuff i can't read the future like to the t uh, maybe for some you may think like this but like um, there are things in your life that you may not be able to see but are uh actually an opportunity in the long run maybe in the future you'll actually like look back um at this month and your choice and you're like actually thank god i choose that path because it will went in a totally other directions you know it's kind of like a um oh my god i give so many examples this is about to be long um i uh, know somebody who uh wanted to be a doctor um but because uh they're like a girlfriend became um, pregnant they had to choose to be a nurse instead of a doctor and it was hard at first but it was the best decision because you need the money right now and if you want to be a doctor you need to pursue more studies and therefore he um, like uh, yes yeah, settled to nurse and now that time went along, time goes by, etc. It was actually the best decision that he made because, as you know, um, the pandemic happened. And I mean, although nurses as well were needed, but doctor especially were over flooded. They were like, like literally having no sleep. Uh, there were so many issues and stuff. And actually becoming a nurse had more like uh, freedom. Uh, for him like uh, also like um, vacation and stuff like this was so different that if he actually pursued becoming a doctor so that's an example that I see so yeah um, now I'll pull some Kali Oracle so let's see what okay that's too many let's see what message I can pull for you Okay, we got one here, which is this image. So let me read it for you. You can have what you need and desire, but you must be prepared to enter into the sacred fire to make the appropriate offering. Shift from focusing on what isn't working to handing over all concerns as a prayer offering to the divine. All can then be resolved and shall manifest according to loving and generous grace. I'll pull out one more for you, and I'll end it with the runes. So we got this one here, kind of reminds me of the death card. 
So what does it say? A predestined series of events is due to occur according to divine timing. This has been orchestrated at a higher level to integrate the paths of people with whom you have soul contract in this lifetime. Trust in the doors that opens uh, that close just as much as in the doors that opens for you as a result. Again, this is talking about a, a door that closes, but there's another one that opens and you may not see where it's taking you, but it's actually a good opportunity, okay? So, now I'll pull out some rooms for you guys. So, let's see what wounds come out for you don't forget to comment and give me a like uh, like <laughs> please <laughs> I can understand with the comment because you know people know that it's you I guess but like likes people don't see so please <laughs> So we got, okay. Alright, let me focus. Okay, let me just check in my little pamphlets that I made for these runes. So the first one is... Okay, the force of destiny guide your actions be cautious okay something talking about you be needing to be a little bit more um mature and like take the right step um trying to like plan and stuff um mm -mm -mm. the next one um uh, the day rune stands for an awareness and enlightenment that leads to development so that correlates back to the reading. The next one is sign of mishaps and harm as it is inverted. Again, you need to um, be, uh, be um, cautious with uh, the choice that you make. Uh, and the last one is birch mother earth runes, a sign of birth, motherhood and care. It strengths the healing power of medicinal plants and natural remedies. Hold on. Motherhood and care. Okay, there is... Uh -huh. Okay, I see actually another scenario here with these two. Uh, like, okay. Uh, be careful in the month of September to not hurt yourself. In some type of way, I don't know, falling down, uh, stuff like this, because uh, with this we co we got something about harm, uh, like you know, um, was it harm? Yeah, mishaps and harm, and then we have something about like medicinal plants. Um, so, and then be cautious and stuff like this on what step. So again, maybe you uh, you need to be a little bit cautious. Just be careful in the months of September to not hurt yourself. Uh, and if you already are hurt, uh, then something about medicinal or something natural may help you. But of course, check a doctor. I don't want people to get worse. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so that's what I say for you, pal number one. I hope you like this. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And comment down below with the blue heart uh, emoji uh, to let me know that you actually chose this pile. So yeah, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, pile number two, if you chose the Cosmic Tarot, I'll look at your monthly prediction. Um, and first I'll start with the salt reading to kind of get um, gist of your uh, months, like the theme, what's going on, extra, extra. So let me just... Okay, pile number two. Pile number two, monthly prediction. Okay, oh my god, I... Anyway, so many salt came off. 
So just give me a moment. Uh, okay, I see uh, first a happy plant. I see many different things, but the first thing I see a plant like happy with some leaves here. We, then we have the cute face over there. Uh, so there's something about like um, feeling good, feeling kind of vibrant, uh, like a like a fresh new like blossoming flower that just like blossomed out and you kind of feel like that little flower um, feeling alive again uh, something about that um, or maybe somebody is offering you flower in the month of September um, or maybe you'll purchase 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 uh, some plants in the month of September that will make you make you actually happy another thing I see a person with a prominent nose and a mustache here could be you uh, doesn't have to be there's curly hair uh, the eyes a prominent nose a mustache and a prominent chin um, maybe this is talking about somebody that you'll meet in the month of September we'll see or if it comes out later in the cards or this is somebody who actually be quite prominent in the month of September in some type of way. Uh, so that's what I see. Another thing. Uh, I see you being quite energetic because I see a uh, coffee bean here. I see you that in the month of September. Again, uh, with this whole thing about the happy flower. I see like you'll be actually quite good in the month of September. So let's see what else can I... Um, I see somebody talking a lot. Either it's you because of the coffee bean, the happy flower. I also see like a parakeet, like a bird here, like, like chipping, like... <laughs> Being again, this whole thing about being energetic and just me tuning into this like energy, it makes me quite like excited. So, I don't know if there's some good news happening in the month of September for you, pal number two, but it actually sounds quite good. So, let's see. Um. else I see an ant as well here uh, or some type of insects maybe oh a butterfly hold on I see so many things okay I see an ant I see a butterfly um, so to me it's like you'll be working on things very hard with people maybe because ants work together uh, for a cause and maybe it's like talking about cooperation uh, maybe this is the face of your future boss, I don't know. Um, but either way, with the end here, I see you working hard. And with the butterfly, it's like transformation, like going to the next step. So maybe you will be, um, what's the word? Great, gra graduate? No. Uh, up a grade in your job. Maybe this, a race. Okay, that was, that was the word. Doesn't have to be. Um, but with the butterfly and the, like ants and butterfly, it kind of reminds me of that, like the progression of um, working and then uh, either inner growth or like uh, things manifesting. Um, hmm. Do I see anything else? Uh, I see dance, like, it reminds me of the, um, what's, the, is it Zumba? Is that the thing, you know, like, <laughs> there was the whole face of Zumba, like, workout when you dance and, you know, with those little weights and then you lose weight and stuff like, stuff like this, so maybe you'll be active physically active in the months of September. So that's kind of what I see with the salt reading, so I'll put it over there. 
and let me just okay so I'll pull out your tarot cards for you so I'll do basically the beginning of the week then the middle uh, beginning of the week beginning of September then I'll go slowly to the middle and then I'll end it with the um, yeah like uh, oh my god that's the word <laughs> the end of the month um, so yeah so first let's look at your beginning of the month of September Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you chose pile number two, uh, then comment uh, yellow uh, heart emoji. Also, I do offer private readings. Just check the description down below. So, let's see. Beginning of the month for my pile number two. Um, I'll look at general and what comes out. I'm not going to go too deep into love or like career unless it comes out. You know, depends on what uh, I see. So, let's see. Oh, well. Pile number two, what's... Oh my god. Well, this is pretty good. Eight of Swords in reverse, Six of Cups. Maybe you'll meet somebody that you haven't met in a while. And that's why you'll be so excited. Okay, listen. Pile number two, your beginning of the month is amazing. I don't know if it's your soulmate here or if it's you. Uh, oh, wait. The dude has a moustache, <laughs> like the one that I saw. But anyway, um, could be just you as well. Um, basically, the beginning of the month, I see things like turning, like uh, things happening for the better, uh, everything going to the right direction with the Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. It's like, I don't know if you've been following your intuition or kind of going with the flow, um, in general or maybe you'll start going doing that in the beginning of september well just know this is a great idea because actually i feel like things will be happening for you quite like intensely and amazingly if that's the word um this is very exciting we have the high priestess and the king of cups so i don't know if for some of you this is talking about love and maybe you'll meet somebody um and with the high priestess maybe this is something that you felt in a while that somebody is coming um something is happening something crazy will happen soon well uh, this is it like this is it it is. Maybe you actually saw this person in a dream and that's why it's kind of crazy. Um, like with the high priestess is very tuned into its intuition. It's like uh, dreamy, it's mystical, esoteric. And with the wheel of fortune, it's kind of like being able to predict what will happen. So I don't know if it's the coming of somebody uh, in your life. But either way, even if it's you're with somebody and you're like, no, I don't need another person, <laughs> I'm good, then that just means that you'll be actually like you as a person coming into this energy that you actually needed. Because we got the Ten of Pentacles talking about career and finances with the Ace of Swords, like going after it. So I don't know if you'll receive some type of job opportunities from like a moustache person, uh, masculine with moustache, I don't know. Um, but either way, it's like everything that you've been, um, like the, what's the word? That has been holding you back, maybe some type of way of thinking, it's coming down. Now you like 
I don't know, revisit those things and actually go to the right direction, uh, go be in the right energy to actually manifest with the magician here, to manifest what you always wanted. And I see, think it's, I think it's about career and love for some, could be both as well. But either way, you'll be very much ruthless about it. Like, this is yours. <laughs> so this is quite exciting for you, pal number two. Let's see. Middle of September. What's happening? Pal number two. Oh my god, we got the two of cups. Okay, this is talking about love for a lot of people. And if it's not love and you're already in a relationship and you're not trying to manifest another relationship, then it could be just partnership with somebody. But I do see something around love. And if you are with somebody uh, and everything is great, then maybe this is going to another like level. Um, if it can go further and even if you're like well i'm quite good we are good then <laughs> expect things to be even more like better for you too um but sorry it cut out but i see like uh, a partnership meeting with somebody with the queen of want in reverse and then we got the two of sword in reverse we got underneath the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Six of Pentacles, uh, 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 the Six of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Oh my god, the Ten of Pentacles is here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so for some, uh, I see different scenarios. Uh, I see you meeting somebody. If you have an ex, then you'll be able to cut this person out. If there is somebody who's toxic or you've been very drained by, then you'll be able to make this decision in the middle of September to cut this person out. Uh, or maybe to, like, uh, what's the word? Um, to dodge a bullet. I don't know if you're dating somebody else that's quite, I don't know, you're not sure about it, then you'll have your confirmation in the middle of September. Um, another thing, if it's about career, um, then I'll say don't, um, if it's a career that's quite like, because with the wheel of fortune here, then it's quite something that is crazy uh, for you. Um, I see someone being able to be like very sharp tongue, but don't let this person um, get you. Because to me, this is a tactic uh, to, I don't know, like, let's say it's, I'm talking about career. So let's say you get an interview and this person, the interviewer is like very ruthless, maybe rude to the point of you being like, what the hell is she asking about? Don't let yourself fool you. Don't let this person fool you. This is a way for you to to actually, um, um, to actually, I, I wouldn't say grow, but like to show, like to shine, to not let this person get the best of you, um, to actually be like truthful, honest, and yeah, don't, don't let this person dissuade you of anything um, because with the six of um, pentacles and the six of wands sorry my camera don't autofocus um, and the six of wands to me like this is way more like you deserve this okay don't let anybody dissuade you of anything because you deserve this you deserve the best also with the three of pentacles then you may you will be able to work with other people so maybe you'll need to get some uh, advice from other maybe business advice love advice uh, maybe if you have common friends and but then talk about it um, either way you listen the middle of the month will be insane okay um show shine shine please pile number two shine uh you deserve this okay 
you'll be very much happy and confident about where this will take you. Beautiful. So end of September for my pile number two. Oh, there's a lightning happening right now. So I love thunder. <laughs> it soothes me like crazy. I don't know about you. So we got and oh my god the ace of swords end of the month for you the prince of pentacle and two of wands okay 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 this is serious pile number two underneath we got the ace of wands in reverse the devil the nine of sword in reverse the eight of sword in reverse the six of cups and the tower in reverse queen of cups Okay, I get it. Um, end of September, uh, you will actually go for it. I don't know what this is about. I see you like going straight, like just moving forward, going places, doing things like business, either business or you or you growing as a person, maturing, uh, adulting, stuff like this. Uh, but I see you having a better plan for your future, knowing where you stand, knowing where what you want to achieve and stuff like this. Um, I, but I have to tell you this. It's like, because of the Wheel of Fortune here in the beginning and having this type of transition of knowing your worth, your worth it's like, let's say that for a while you never were in this position, okay? And now you get it and now you kind of have this awakening or things happen for you and you are at the position that you always wish for, right? And it's like you feel confident, but sometimes uh, as it goes fast and in the months it's kind of hard to adapt yourself, uh, especially if you've been uh, like low in confidence for a while and feeling unworthy. And now that you take this opportunity, um, you may sometimes feel like you have this imposter syndrome. You feel like you don't deserve it, even though you're doing great. You feel like, uh, oh, it's going to fail or like, oh, um, somebody's going to take my place. Well, don't let these things um, influence you. But I do, s I mean, it's easier said than done. But I want you to remind yourself that you made it. Like, it's a progression, yes, things will get better, and although it may seem too good to be true, stay in that energy. Yes, I get it, like, you want to make sure that, you know, be on your guard and stuff, but there is a certain point in your life where you kind of need to go for it and don't care about the other things. I mean, seriously, like, if you look at Jeff Bezos, I mean, I don't know anything about his life, but... I'm sure he doesn't have the same amount of caring or imposter syndrome as a lot of people do. Um, and with the devil here underneath, with the nine of swords in reverse, to me there is like this constant battle that you'll have uh, at the end of September, which will be kind of the beginning of your new like path forward. And it's like you will have this type of... Um, um, uh, negative talk coming in your mind and within yourself it's okay just know that that's in the past now we are moving forward okay don't let your past behavior or low confidence get the best of you okay you deserve this you wanted this then you'll get it okay so um let's see like, don't self-sabotage. Please, please don't self-sabotage. Pound number two. If you feel like your imposter syndrome is too, like, powerful uh, at the end of September, then go with the flow, no matter what. Even if you're, like, imposter syndrome and you kind of want to sabotage everything, just go with the flow. Just let things happen even if you feel like an imposter then just go with it and you'll get it okay 
don't ruin this pile number two. Then we got the uh, time for a deep dive with the swan spirit. You letting yourself shine. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. And I'll pull out two more oracles for you. I have other ones as well. And I'll also pull out some runes. We got the dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Again, so if this is about a project or somebody and you love this person, then be loyal to this. Don't sabotage. Don't try to like be, as it says here, un unfaithful to your dream or what you truly love. And last oracle card. Uh, last but not least. And we got the Owl Spirit. You see clearly now. Again, you'll have this clear awakening or like view of what you want in the month of September. This is such a good reading, pal number two. So now I'll pull some. I'll shuffle these uh, Sacred Destiny Oracle. So, uh, perfect, I just... Well, I got two, okay. I would take one usually, but I got two. We got simplicity and release. Um, with these two cards, I feel like this is talking about you not getting too much in your head and the release card, you just need to release those old, again, leaves. Um, because, I don't know, I'll try to focus. Okay. As you can see in this uh, imagery here, uh, it's like autumn, the leaves are falling and the, the tree will actually um, uh, make the leaves fall in order to get, uh, I mean, I'm not a biologist, but from what I know, it's like uh, the leaves fall down in order for the tree to survive and things like this, you know, that's why in winter it everything falls down, not because it's dry is just like the i mean that as well but it's because the tree is trying to survive or something like this uh trying to keep the water i think so uh, so maybe with this whole releasing to me it's like going to the new phase and simplicity it's like i don't know if you're the type of person to overthink uh well you'll be able to, in this phase in september to release this like you don't need these leaves you don't need it like go with the flow it will grow back don't worry uh, i'm not talking about the overthinking but oh my god i have no batteries wait wait okay i changed my battery okay this is going to be such a long video for me to change the battery twice um no anyway so again um just go with what's happening there is a new season get ready for it it's not as difficult as you think. Uh, with the simplicity card, it will be quite easy for you. It's not a hard transition. That's not what I see here. It's a simple one. So let me just focus back. Okay, so now I'll shuffle the Kali Oracle card. Let's see what message comes for you. Okay, we got one here, so let me read. We have, do not allow negative thoughts, okay. Do not allow negative thoughts or speech to undermine your inner spiritual connection. Claim your voice and your power to express yourself from your heart. Though it may not yet be visible in your physical world, a new order is generating within the soul, and in time it shall manifest in a transformation that heals your inner world and improves your physical life circumstance too. Oh my god. This is so fitting. That's... that's... oh my god. <laughs> the synchronicities in your pile is crazy. So I'll get one last card from this deck. 
another oh there you go so you oh we have a couple here so maybe for some we have something about love Look, let's see um significant inner shifts are taking place energies are beginning to move in a new ways you may feel that resolution is hard to pin down at this time lean into unflam unfamiliar territory with boldness tempered with patience you will become capable of many things on many levels that you were not capable of accomplishing previously you shall arise a fresh path is signified again new beginning for you pal number two so to end this reading i'll pull out some runes that i've made myself We got this. There you go. Okay. So let me just check in my little pamphlet what I wrote about these. So the first rune, rune of man, is a rune of self-knowledge and balance, development of personality and inner awareness. Again, inner transformation, then the next rune is the new tree. Is it? Wait, is it this one? Yes, it is. A protective rune removing negative influence and causing change for the better. Patience is virtue. And the next one. Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Water, the rune of dreams and intuition. It represents the ability to flow with life changes, flexibility in coping with life. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of about intuition, going with the flow. Uh, and I did pull the um, high Priestess card. And lastly, we got new... Um, wait. New... Uh, new projects will bear fruit through careful development and maturities. Maturity. Yeah, so again, a new project will bear fruit. So maybe this is a project or something. And you need to take mature and logical step towards it. And if you do, then it will blossom so yeah that's what i see for you pal number two i hope you like this reading don't forget to like share and subscribe uh comment down below with the yellow heart emoji and i hope i'll see you soon in my next video bye